some toenails. Um, these aren't the worst I've seen, they're not the best, but they are a perfect specimen for you to see what we see here on a daily basis. So let's get started. I always do cover the nail so it doesn't pop me in the face. Um, as much fun as that seems, it's not. I also tend to take pieces of toenail home with me. With toenails like this one, it's important to not let the patient trim them on their own because the skin grows up underneath it so closely that if he tries to trim these, he's gonna clip the skin as well. And he doesn't have the best circulation, so if he does injure himself, he may not heal it, and that could end up causing him to lose his toe. And my job as a podiatrist is to keep all 10 toes attached. That's what we want to do, right? I get as much of the thickness off as I can with the nippers, and then we do kind of grind them down as well. The goal is to reduce not only the length, but the bulk of it, maybe. Ooh. Relax for me. Hard to do, right? Your feet are camera shy. Mm -hmm. So this will definitely help the topical medications work better. And then if you decide to start the laser treatments as well, getting some of that big thick nail off there will help it get into your skin much, much quicker. This foot is definitely worse than the other foot. Can you think of why? Like, is there anything going on in this leg? Nothing worse. No. Sometimes it can be that the circulation isn't as good or you've had surgery on this leg. Clock behind my left, but that's just in the last year or so. Yeah. They're already pretty bad shape by that point. Okay. But who knows how long the clot had been there. Gosh, you're gonna feel like a brand new man. Uh, uh, brand new right. And stuff gets stuck behind them. Sock fuzz and skin cells and hair. And it doesn't mean that they're dirty. It's just, it gets trapped. Feet are shoved into a sock and a shoe all day long. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of stuff that gets in there and stays. And you would never, ever, ever be able to do something like this at home, nor would I want you to, even if you could. Speaking from personal, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from personal experience, it is not as easy to do this at home, even on yourself. Thank you. This one is loosened from the underlying nail bed for sure. And it does turn very dark and discolored. And that is evidence of a fungus. This is actually a form of treating the fungus by doing mechanical debridement of it. It's going to reduce the fungal load and help everything to work better. And we do know he has a fungus by a biopsy that we performed earlier. Perfect. So tickle. Yeah.
Thumbs 